Chevy or afternoon. It's actually afternoon already. Diesel. The Franks. Hog in the big bed while the big dogs lay on the cold, hard floor. What's you up to? Looking the laundry. I do all my own laundry. But he doesn't really help with the house laundry either, so I get a bigger load. So I'm just saying. I wash the dog beds. Once in a while. We have a lot Virgin. of blankets. Well, 99% of these are dog blankets, honestly, and dog sheets. It's for like the vehicles and the dog beds. and Yeah, we need to get rid of some of these. I don't use half of them. These dogs use a lot of blankets. They do. So yesterday's video, we uh, went and ran over to the land, brought our camper out there, got it ready for the winter. Uh, sort of showed you a little bit of our plans. We staked out where the house and garage and shop are gonna be. Uh, if you missed that, a lot of you, or a few of you anyways, have been asking about our land over and over. So figured I'd film a quick little update and post that yesterday. Today, uh, I'm gonna be getting going later this evening in a few hours. We have gotta go grocery shopping yet. I got a load that I'm picking up in Winnipeg tomorrow that's taking me down to the Minneapolis area. In the meantime, we're trying to get a few things done at home. You know, the way they loaded it, I was looking at it and I was thinking, that looks a little heavy on the back. And then I looked at my gauges on the trailer, my air pressure gauges, I said, that looks a little heavy on the back. But the yard where I loaded this was so busy and so frantic. The guy who loaded me just disappeared and he started loading like six other trucks. And I'm like, well, you know what? I'm not very far away from our yard. I'm just gonna take it there. Cause I'm legal for Canada. But I'm not legal to go to the States like this. So here I'll, uh, enlist the help of whoever I can who has a forklift license here to uh, move one of these lifts forward for me. Kind of a pain, but can you do? This is why I check it. Better than getting a ticket. I'm 2,000, 2,500 pounds over on my trailer and 4,000 pounds under on my drives. This is what I mean. This is how they loaded it. So they put these two longer lifts in the front, right? and then four behind it and then three behind that right over the rear axles so yeah just looking at this it looks heavy for the u.s right you would be correct 2500 pounds too much on those axles and i can have up to four thousand more pounds on those axles so i've got to move one of these lifts forward i might actually just move one of these on top of there and then move that other one to the center. One way or another, we need to get weight off the trailer. So I got Brendan in the yard here to come help me out and move one of these skids. We put one up there. The one from the back, we just put up here. I'm gonna go scale it now just to make sure that, uh, just to make sure it's good. But 
just by looking at it. I think we're good to go. So remember our steer axle can have 12,000 pounds. Drive axles behind the trailer can have 34 and same thing with the trailer, 34. Morris, we're on our way. We got our weights all squared up, and this is uh, how we did it. So we moved that one from the back up here with a little bit of an overhang. We had to do that because if we even it out with this stack here, I was still 500 pounds over on my trailer. So we moved this stack forward. It's perfectly okay to do that. That moved the 500 pounds over onto these axles and now I'm completely legal to cross into the US. So that's sort of what you got to do sometimes. You got to mess around with your freight, get it positioned just right so that you're legal for weights. You don't want to get a ticket. They get very expensive. Thanks for moving over, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. One guy moved over. Thank you. Still amazes me. Like, I'm parked on a, in a parking spot, so they don't technically, they don't have to move over. But I mean, like, five in a row. I always move over. I, don't, I know you don't have to, but... On the highway, you should. Mm. Still, I always do anyways, and it kind of bugs me when other people don't, because, you know, I could have walked around there, tried to get into my door, and, you know, tripped and fell into their lane, and would have died. Yeah, it might have been my fault, but still, I don't want to be involved in that if I'm passing by somebody, just in case they come around the front, and they trip over their feet or whatever, and fall into my lane. I'm going to be in the far lane, outside lane anyways, but that's just me. I don't know. Am I alone in that? I always move over. Always give him an extra lane. But he didn't know, uh, I mean, those guys didn't know that I was working on the truck here either. I mean, I'm parked in a parking spot in town. They thought, they might have thought I was like in the gas station or something, but that's the point. If you don't know, better to be safe than sorry. In my mind, anyways. Let's go to Minneapolis. Apparently, they're going to unload me tonight yet. So we better go. Because from there, I've got to run up to Duluth, Minnesota. Got to reload there tomorrow, headed back. I've got a little bit of show and tell I want to show you guys later. So at the end of the vlog, I got myself a little uh, a kettle for the truck to heat up water and a little uh, portable like mini oven thing. So I can heat up some food in here. I'm slowly getting uh, myself set up so that I don't have to buy so much food on the road and eat out. It gets very expensive, especially when you're trying to save up for a house. Houses are expensive. I put my signal on to let people know that, hey, I want to get in there. There you go. Thank you. He saw it. I've also bought myself instant coffee. I'm trying it out for the first time in my life. So I can heat up water in my truck now, and then mix it in with instant coffee. And then I don't have to buy so much coffee on the road, even though I, I love my bean to cup coffee and my Tim Hortons coffee. We're gonna save some money and make our own food and our own coffee as much as possible. 
I'm gonna give it a try. I'll show you it all later. I'm actually kind of excited about it. afternoon they said oh yeah as long as you're here before midnight come on in <laughs> wow I wish that happened more often that was a nice surprise so I just got here now it's uh, 10 o'clock and I'm getting unloaded and once my trailer's empty I'm gonna start heading towards Duluth I got to reload there tomorrow but at least I'll be empty tonight right so completely unheard of right oh yeah we receive until midnight there's a couple of receivers that I've been to in the last few months that are like that, actually. It's not like, never happens, but whenever you find one like that, you're like, wow, you're my new favorite. So many receivers will only receive if you get there by like 2.30 in the afternoon. So many. No, I actually need my sweater on, it's a little chilly outside. Like, oh yeah, receiving shuts down at 2.30. Wow, must be nice. Get to go home right after lunch. <laughs> right? Not these guys. They're, these guys love to work. They're like, you know what? No, I don't even want to go home after supper. No, keep me here till midnight. Woo! Obviously, they got a night shift and a day shift. I need to get some new uh, seat covers here. Ah, bugs me. Yeah, obviously, got a night shift and a day shift, but how... How awesome is that? So I'm just waiting for them to uh, get finished with the truck in front of me. And then uh, they're gonna pull me into the area where I gotta unload. And then it'll be my turn. And there you go. Just my tarps and riser left. I'm just gonna leave this here for now. It's tied down. I'll have to move that tomorrow because we'll need that space for my next load. Uh, my next load is, uh, I don't even know how to explain it to you. I'll have to show it to you tomorrow. I'll rope you in it tomorrow's video too. It's very low, heavy, but small pallets. I bring them back to our yard and then, uh, they get put on another trailer. I think they get put on a Super B unit and got, get brought out to BC. That's what I heard, but my job is to bring it to our yard. So everything's off the deck. They're done. I have my paperwork signed. Get out of here. I gotta go around here somewhere. One hour and 42 minutes remaining on my 14 hour clock for US hours of service. I'm not quite gonna make it to Duluth. Duluth is about two and a half hours away. We're gonna get as far as we can. Gotta get out of the city here now and it's quarter after 11 at night. So I'm not expecting a lot of traffic here in Minneapolis. I'm in a happy list where everyone's always so happy. You might have noticed I got a new camera up at the top of my windshield there. That is my security dash camera. That thing is rolling 24 hours a day. 
Whereas my GoPros, they can't do that. They, they overheat, they get hot. They're not good dash cameras, but they're better vlog cameras. That is for uh, my own liability sake <clears throat> or insurance. If anybody cuts me off, uh, backs into me, hits me at a truck stop, God forbid, if anything bad happens and it's not my fault, that is rolling. Also, if anybody does anything dumb in front of me, I can pull the footage off of there. It'd be great YouTube footage. <coughs> so y'all better be careful when you're driving in front of me. I'm watching you. I'm recording you. Don't do anything weird. So to get out of Minneapolis here, I'm on the southwest corner. I'm going to be taking Highway 100, I believe, north through Minneapolis, through the west side of the city, towards I-694, then take I-694 eastbound to I-35, which takes me up to Duluth. And we'll see how far up I-35 we can get tonight yet. I've been looking at the app Trucker Path. Uh, it's one of my favorite apps. It tells you where all the truck stops are. I have a few truck stops in mind where I could stop depending on how many hours I have to get there, what my time is like when I get out of the city. Minneapolis, St. Paul here is a massive, massive city. But like I said earlier, I'm not expecting a lot of traffic. You might have noticed Diesel. Lord Weasel is not with me. He is at home with his family. I have to share him with everyone else. He's semi-retired, so he only comes with uh, every now and then, every couple of weeks. He loves coming on the truck, but he also loves being at home. So, and Chevy also really misses him. They're best buds. So he misses him when he comes with me. And I don't know if I could take both of them in here. I could try it once, but uh, it would be pretty cramped, pretty hectic. It'd have to be on a week when I'm not running very hard. I'd need a lot of time because I gotta walk both of them and feed both of them then. And, uh, even just having diesel with me, with the regional work that I'm doing, you need to be on your toes and you need to be quick, 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 quick. You need to make it worthwhile during the week so you can get home on the weekend, right? At least try to. And uh, it's very busy. And I don't always have the time to give Diesel the attention he needs. Not with us this time. So this is my little uh, kettle, little mobile kettle. Heating up water in there right now. I'm gonna make some soup. I also got one of those little portable stoves that you can get at Flying J. Plug it in and it heats up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I can make, uh, oh, probably could like heat up some kind of pastas in there, lasagnas or, uh, oh, anything rice uh, these uh, Campbell's chunky soups like this uh, I can do oatmeal now in the truck oh I have a lot more options now of food I can eat in the truck without having to go out and buy food every day hoping this can save me a lot of money I guess we'll find out though I'm really tired just quickly putting this all together I don't have my computer on here right now because there's water up here uh, I have the warranty that covers absolutely everything, so even if I destroyed this with water, I think I'm still covered, but I'm not going to go testing that. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out today, everybody. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go pick up in Duluth. 
Uh, we made it to a small town. Where are we? I'm at a little uh, holiday truck stop in, uh, what was it, Rich Town? Rich? Rush, not Rich. Rush City, Minnesota. It's on I-35. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe.